Welcome. In front of me is a Lenovo Tab P11 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now before I get started I'm going to quickly just mention that you can see that the tablet for me is actually locked. And we have the little lock icon right here, we have the verification pattern and we can also use the Google account instead to verify on the device that way. Now assuming we don't know either of those, to get started with the process, number one, you will want to connect to your network, so just find your desired Wi-Fi network, you can see that I have already connected to mine, and once you've done so, you're gonna back out to the first page. Now, before I actually get started, I'm just gonna clarify one more thing. So there is two methods of going about it. I'm gonna be using one of them, but I will also give a quick guide. I just like say it uh, because it's very similar. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you a verbal instruction on how you can do the second one uh, and just let you know where it differs. So from there you can just, if this method doesn't work, then you can try the other one. But anyway, let's just get straight into it. So number one, we're going to start off by selecting vision settings and then we're going to select talkback. You want to enable it. Come on. Come on. Talkback on. There we go. Welcome to talkback. Welcome to talkback. Page one of five. Talkback is a screen reader intended for situations. Now, unfortunately, I cannot mute it further so so yeah sorry for that it's going to be very distracting at least for me now anyway once you have this uh, page open uh, we'll see if we need to okay so so as you oops give me a sec there we go so double tap to activate it is absolutely distracting. Anyway, uh, so once you have this page open, all you need to do is draw a mirrored L like this on the screen. Android now, it will have the first option selected by default as you've seen at the beginning, so double tap on it. And it will then take you to this one, so use uh, voice commands. So we're gonna single tap on this use voice commands option right here. And be... Shut it. And before we continue any further, I'm just gonna quickly tell you what we will need to say. This will need to be verbally told to the device. So when you double tap on it, you will hear a beep, meaning the device is now listening to you, which you want to say, open Google Assistant. Once it opens up a Google Assistant, you'll hear well, one beep that it accepts your voice command, and then the second one that now Google is listening to you, at which point you want to follow up by saying, open YouTube. So now I'm going to do this myself and you can hear and see how I'm doing it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go. So as you can see, it opened it up. So now we're going to tap right. Actually, no. First, we need to turn off the voice, uh, uh, voice commands or the talk back in general so we're gonna hold the volume up and volume down select turn on double tap and then hold the two keys once more and we can use our display normally so from here we want to tap on the account icon we're gonna then navigate to settings about and quickly make sure Okay, so in about, I believe we need to go into help, though I'm kind of guessing right now because on the guide that I'm reading right now on the screen, it looks like it's missing a couple steps. Anyway, uh, in the search bar, we're gonna type in delete, or just a couple letters, uh, 
not even full delete. Uh, it brings up the suggested option, delete, disable, or manage, or not all, and manage unused apps on Android. So we're gonna tap on that. And from here, we're gonna select right here, delete apps that you installed. And step one is the blue text. You wanna simply click on it. And this will take you to uh, your apps right here. So now we're gonna start off with the Android setup. Let me make sure I'm following the correct one. Okay, so I actually started following the other guide and looking at it a little bit closer, I guess I'm just gonna stick with this one for now. I think it might be a little bit simpler anyway. So from here uh, in the Android setup, we're going to select force stop and okay. Then we're gonna go back. And next thing we're looking for is Google Play services, which should be somewhere a little bit lower. Google Play services right over here. And then we're gonna select disable, disable app and just for good measures, we're gonna force stop it as well. Once we've done this, we will now hold our power button and you wanna select restart. And we're just gonna wait for the device to reboot. Now, this method will take a little bit longer, but it's simpler. So in the second part of it, which we are about to start, we just need to kind of repeat the all the steps that we have taken till this point. I'll be showing you that uh, in a second. And the difference between these uh, two methods is that number one, I'm gonna change the language, is that the other one is a little bit more complicated, quicker, and won't require us to retrace our steps, which uh, would have been a little bit better, but I kind of started reading the wrong one, so we had this one. Anyway, uh, so right now we will progress through the setup. And I think once it's doing whatever it's doing right now, camera focus, we can go back. Yep. So right here, uh, we're looking to see uh, set up offline option. If you see this option right here, you're good to go. So we can now back out to the beginning of the setup again. And we, like I said, are gonna repeat the steps from the beginning. Now I'm gonna be doing this a little bit quicker just to save a little bit on time. So so if you get uh, a little bit lost through the process, you can just either play this back once more or be go back to the beginning of the video where, uh, where I'm doing this a little bit slower and telling you everything. Open Google Assistant. So right here we get uh, this option. Oh my god, the talkback is absolutely infuriating. She just never stops. Anyway, uh, let me quickly uh, verify the process with the guide I guess we're just gonna select settings right here and it's not like we have an option so we're gonna double tap on it Now the guide seems to be just doing nothing. Uh, I am a little bit confused because in the guide it's just achieving nothing. So I'm trying to figure out what am I supposed to do. So I'm gonna select enable right here and I'm just gonna go back, which... So now I'm gonna hold volume up and down so I can start using the device normally. 
and I'll just back out again and progress through the setup. Now I want to get it back to here and select to set up offline. And I think it worked. So yeah, this was a little bit uh, convoluted. At the end, uh, the guide is missing a couple steps. So I was just trying to figure out what to do on my own. So sorry for that if you got a little bit lost. I might actually be making the second uh, bypass as well, uh, just because it will be a little bit more straightforward and uh, apart from just a little bit of a gimmick, it, it's number one shorter. So probably because of the length of the bypass, it might actually be easier. But with that being said, just to overview what I have done here, uh, because it might have become unclear at one point, uh, we have done the uh, first part which required us to turn off the Android setup uh, which we did by just going into the uh, apps, uh, apps and then finding Android setup, selecting disable, then finding Google Play services and selecting disable and force stop. Then we rebooted the device and repeated the process almost from the beginning. Once we enabled the uh, voiceover or the talkback more precisely, and we wanted to use the voice commands, it told us that the Google uh, services were disabled. So we just navigated to settings, uh, enabled them, backed out to the beginning of the setup and turned off obviously the talkback so we can use the device normally. And from there, uh, once it starts looking for the updates with the little spinny wheel, you go back uh, because it automatically skips Wi-Fi page. So you go back to get back to it, so to see it. And from there you want to select set up offline. Now the reason we didn't do that right off the bat when the device rebooted and I showed you that we have this button is because we first needed to enable the Google Play services for the device to go to the next page. So that was a crucial uh, part of this setup. Now once you have access to the home screen like we do right now there's one last thing that you do want to perform which is a factory reset of the device and you do so by simply navigating into the settings right here, scrolling all the way down to system. Again, scroll all the way down to reset options and then select erase all data, factory reset, erase all data and get blocked by the battery. But normally you just, I believe, select erase all data once again and it performs a factory reset of your device. Now, the reason I recommend to do this as a last step or telling you to do this is because what we have just done is just a simple uh, circumvention of verification. We haven't verified anything, we haven't removed anything yet. But by performing a factory reset of the device through the settings like I'm telling you to do right now, uh, the phone or the tablet in this case will automatically remove all those securities on its own, doing the bypass basically by itself. So that's why I'm telling you to do this as a last step. Now from there, you'll be back in the setup screen, but you can then set up your device however you want. It will be fully unlocked, so you can skip signing to Wi-Fi if you want to, or connect to it and sign in with any kind of Google account that you wish to. Anyway, with this being said, if you found this very helpful, which hopefully you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.